My name is Kathleen Burns Kingsbury, and I'm a wealth psychology expert and author. I started KBK Wealth Connection around uh, 2009, and I took everything that I loved from the field of banking and finance and everything I loved from the field of psychology, and I blended them together. And so that's where the specialty in wealth psychology came from, and I've had the honor to specialize in women and wealth and couples and money and financial conversations ever since. You know, for the past decade, I've been talking to financial advisors and to clients, and they were both saying the same things, but they were saying them separately. So advisors would say, I really want my clients to engage in these conversations, talk about money with their partner, with their family, with their kids. And at the same time, I would have friends of mine, or if I'd go out and speak to a women's group, they would say, oh, I really wish I could have this conversation with my husband or my partner or my kid or my parent. And I realized the two were not meeting in the middle that there was this disconnect. And so Breaking Money Silence was my effort to say, hey, we're all in this together. It's really important that we engage in these financial conversations and that advisors are uniquely positioned to be able to facilitate those conversations. And trust me, your clients want you to help. You know, money talk is the last taboo that's out there, and when you look at why is it still taboo, I think it's because our relationship with money is so complicated that it's um, there's so much emotions that are connected, or so many emotions that are connected with our financial lives. And because we don't talk about it, we often make the assumption that somehow the person next to us is doing it better, or our financial advisor is judging us for how we're managing money. And what you find when you start to break money silence and you you start to engage in these conversations, you find out, wow, everybody is struggling a little bit. Like sometimes you do something really well financially and sometimes you make a mistake. And it's really about learning and communicating and growing. And I know for me personally, as well as professionally, the more I engage in these money conversations, the more I get to know the people in my lives, life. And um, it's helped me from a professional standpoint as well as a business standpoint.